A warm welcome to the launch video of the version 23 of the Human Protein Atlas. The Human Protein Atlas is an open access core resource for human proteins in cells, tissues, organs and blood. It contains more than 5 million web pages which is updated annually and actually also contains more than 10 million annotated tissue images. It is one of the most visited biological databases in the world. The version 23 uh, contains 12 separate sections. We are using a new genome assembly, the version 109 of Ensemble, which means that we are covering 20,162 protein coded genes. We also have a new interaction sections, and I will come back to this a little bit later. One of the features of this new version 23 is a new annotation of all the human proteins. Uh, we are doing three main annotations based on expression profiles across tissues, organs and cells. First, a specificity classification, which is really the full change between different organs and tissues of proteins. A tau index, which gives an overall specificity profile for every protein-coded gene. But also a new cluster annotation, which gives the specificity and also some indications of function based on similarity of expression. We are annotating uh, the, all the genes based on five data sets, the tissue, brain, single cell type, the immune cells and cell lines. The tissue section contains protein localizations across all major normal tissues and organs. Uh, the protein profiles covers about 15,000 protein coded genes and the classification is based on the body-wide specific expression profiles. In the version 22, we introduced a multiplex profiling of proteins in testes. We have now extended this, and we are now also including multiplex profiling of proteins in the kidney. The brain section uh, contains a lot of new information obtained by microdissection of more than 190 regions of the human brain. And with that data, one can compare the expression in the different parts of the brain with mouse and pig, but also the similarities of expression between these different regions of the brain. The single cell type section now contains information from 31 human tissues, uh, actually with expression profiles for 81 single cell types. And with that then one can then see single cell classification of close to 16,000 protocoded genes. The cell line section also has a lot of new data uh, and it now has data for more than 1,000 human cell lines and also classification of cell line specificity of the all the protein coded genes. And this section can then be used in order to choose the best cell line model for a particular biological research experiment. The disease section of the Human Protein Atlas was introduced in the version 22. And in this section, we show the protein levels in human blood across different diseases. And right now we are focusing on 12 cancers, but we expect to extend this with more diseases later this year. The structure section shows the 3D structures of all proteins both with alpha fold 2 and if it's experimentally verified with PDB structures. And it is now possible to visualize the HPA information, uh, and for example, the antibody binding sites, as you can see here on the structure of HER2, where you can see the signal peptide in black, 
you can see the transmembrane region in orange, and then you can also see the binding sites of three of the antibodies used in the pro protein atlas in blue, green, and red. The interaction sets section is new, and it shows the interaction networks for for all proteins, and the data is, is from the INTERACT uh, resource, and this data is integrated with HPA data, such as, for example, as here with the subcell localization, and you can actually expand these networks by clicking on genes and do mouse over for gene information. So in summary, a new version 23 of the Human Protein Atlas has been launched, contains 5 million web pages, and it has information about all the human protein-coded genes. We are proud to introduce a new interaction section and a lot of more single cell data and cell line data. And we are also very happy about the new section, protein structure sections with integration with HPA data. And we are also annotating all the human needs based on cluster analysis. So I would like to thank all the people that have been involved in this during the 20 years. And I hope that you all can enjoy the new version 23 of a human protein atlas. Thank you very much for listening.